619 is your time. This following segment is sponsored by Quincy Medical Group, where we have Dr. Eric Finn Thompson and also Dr. Christian Zwick. And uh, Dr. Zwick has been here for a few weeks talking about breast cancer reconstruction and everything. Today, we're going to specifically target a certain procedure, and it is called nipple and skin sparing mastectomy. That's right. What is that? In the past, most patients that required or chose to have a mastectomy had not only the breast tissue removed, but also a good amount of skin, including the nipple. Um, this did not provide a good cosmetic outcome, mm -hmm. even though it was good for curing the cancer. What we can offer now is a procedure that preserves both the skin and the nipple, which is, is, a, is a good option. While preserving the skin and removing the nipple does provide a good tissue envelope to reconstruct the breast mound, it's, it's been said that the nipple defines the breast. So preserving the nipple is going to give the best cosmetic outcome. So this is an exciting new development for any patient that uh, is concerned about their body image. Absolutely, and Dr. Finn Thompson is a plastic surgeon with Quincy Medical Group. What other new procedures are you guys doing there at Quincy Medical Group? I think as Dr. Zwickel alluded to, nipple and skin sparing mastectomies really affords us the opportunity to improve the quality of our breast reconstructions. Uh, the most common method of reconstruction is to use a device called a tissue expander, which is placed underneath the chest muscle that expands the skin and then is subsequently replaced with a breast implant. Uh, this can often generate some degree of animation deformities and pain for patients sometimes with longer hospital stays. So one of the new techniques we're doing now is we place the device, the tissue expander, above the muscle in the same plane that the breast tissue was removed. Uh, this results in overall shorter hospital stays, uh, more uh, comfort for patients, and overall better appearing breast. Uh, in addition, we do a lot of fat grafting. So fat grafting is taking fat from one portion of the body and placing it around the breast implants, which softens the overall contour. M makes it look more natural, I'm absolutely, assuming? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. And in certain patients that are appropriate candidates, we can do what's called a direct-to-implant reconstruction. So immediately after the mastectomy, we place a permanent implant so patients wake up feeling much more more whole after their breast cancer surgery. Gotcha. You mentioned certain patients. Is everybody a, a candidate for this? So certain procedures work better for certain patients okay. as a function of their body habitus, medical condition, whether or not they're having radiation after surgery, and if they're planning on being a larger or different breast size after reconstruction. Uh, we meet with patients, have a very thorough discussion prior to the breast cancer surgery, and give them all the options that they need. Uh, obviously, breast cancer diagnosis is an overwhelming mm -hmm. one for patients, and sometimes patients just cannot consider going through a reconstruction immediately, and we sometimes do these reconstructions in a delayed fashion months and even years later. Sure, and of course, we've talked with doctors back the past couple of weeks, the number one priority is getting that cancer taken care absolutely, of. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think that's really a key thing to, for patients to understand that they need to often focus on the re cancer surgery, but mm -hmm. also reconstruction is an integral part of, of the recovery process as well. Absolutely. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming in. Real quickly, if, if they want to get a hold of you guys, what's the best way to, to get more information on these? Well, they can call Quincy Medical Group. Uh, both of us are also online uh, at our website. All right, cool. Doctors, thanks so much for coming thanks in. Thanks, Jen. All right, we'll be back right after this with more KHP.